視聴者の皆様こんにちは美しく平和な日本出身の花子と申します料理番組「活気に満ちた英国」よりアンナ・フリードマンさんの乳幼児と子ども向けヘルシーヴィーガンレシピ後編へようこそ。さんは英国マクロビオティック協会公認の資格を持つマクロビオティック専門の料理人でヘルスコーチやヒーリングの指導者もされています2009年にイギリスロンドン北西部にホールフードハーモニー調理学校を設立されました同校は健康的なライフスタイルの築き方をオンラインの料理教室セミナーワークショップ食と健康の指導を通して人々に教えています彼女は高く評価されているピュアベイビー美しい人生の始まりをという本の著者でもありこの本は妊婦や新米ママと離乳期のママ向けのガイドブックですこの楽しい本は24品の独創的な菜食レシピを提案し子どものために健康的なビーガンのマクロビオティック食に熱心に従う母親にとって貴重な洞察と指導を提供しています先週はフリードマンさんにビーガン巻き寿司とセサミシェイクの作り方を教えていただきました本日は可愛い赤ちゃんと子どもたちのために菜食ゼリーと味噌汁の作り方を教えていただきますそれではお楽しみくださいフリードマンさんは。And the idea is that they completely dissolve, and that will take about 8 to 10 minutes. You bring your juice to a kind of high simmer for 10 minutes while these flakes dissolve. And while they're cooking, I'm going to prepare some fruit to sit on the bottom of the dish for this nice jelly. My children, oh, they ask for this jelly constantly. It's great. In fact, I started giving this to the baby. You'll see it in my book, I think, towards the end of the first year.、Um, the baby, babies would, would really benefit from this because it's really easy to digest,、um, just, especially without any fruit going in,、uh, or very, very soft fruit inside. I'm going to use some strawberries and blueberries today. We can use whatever's in season. Pear is really nice,、um, plum. You can use a combination of fruits. And I just use them raw, put them in at the bottom of the dish, and we'll pour this lovely jelly concoction on top. Allow it to set, and then it will firm up.
this pan is coming to a boil now, so I'm going to turn the heat down and really let that simmer now until those flakes are dissolved. Another way I like to use the agar flakes, in fact, is to put them in the same way, but instead of using juice, I would use a plant milk, almond milk, coconut milk, rice milk, uh, something like that, if you want to make a nice pink coloured one. I probably combine strawberries and blueberries or other berries in the same, same fashion in a bowl, um, apply the, the mixture on top, let that cool and set, and then that whiz, whiz it up very, very slightly, and you get this lovely um, yogurt consistency. Oh, that's, some, that's a winner too. with the juice just needs a few more minutes until you see a little a little gel like um, texture forming around the the inner surface of the pan then you know it's really on its way to, to um, gelling to gelling up yeah this should be ready now so I'm going to turn off the heat just pour over our lovely fruit our lovely berries and you could really vary this you could add vanilla in um, you could have a lemony jelly, lime, and we've made really four really abundant jellies portions with that. So I'm just going to leave that out to, to cool down and set. Um, you could transfer it into the fridge after it's got a little bit cooler. Enjoy. So, miso soup now for your little ones. It's going to be a really, um, well, it's got to start off quite dilute for a baby and then it could get steadily stronger in terms of miso, uh, miso immersion as they get older. But the, the beauty of using this fresh miso paste is that it acts as a natural probiotic. So um, it harbours the lactobacilli, or the good gut bacteria. It's made from the soybean in a fermented manner. This soup is really vitalising. Both adults and children can equally go for this. I'm actually going to make a nice broth with some carrots, celery, sweet potato or pumpkin you could use for sweetness, and courgette. Um, little ones often like courgette. And sweet potato too, all these vegetables in fact. It would be nice to add today some um, tofu to give you that plant protein. And these are organic brown rice noodles. Uh, any miso soup wouldn't be complete without a seaweed, yeah? So seaweeds offer all this um, nutrition, calcium, iron, a whole host of vitamins and minerals. This is one of my staple recipes. If the children aren't well, it's very strengthening. You could add even more seaweed. You could add burdock, which is a very strengthening uh, tuber. And it's, um, it confers real vitality. We're going to start off with a, just a dash of sesame oil, just a nice quality oil. And while that's heating, I'm going to cut, cut this yellow carrot. When I was weaning, um, I would make a soup like this, and then I might give the baby the liquid and fish out the um, vegetables. I'd make sure I'd cut them, probably more as matchstick. Um, the baby could hold on to and, and experiment and play with and maybe even eat. So onions going in. You don't have to have loads of vegetables. You could just do this with your liquid, your miso, your seaweed and your noodles. But it just gives them a bit more bulk or substance to the broth, having some veggies in there. Okay, so courgette going in. 
and have a little bit of celery and sweet potato. Sweet potato is nice or pumpkin because it gives it gives some sweetness to your broth and colour. And you could make a whole volume, a whole um, stock of this. You could freeze it. And I'm going to show you with the miso because that goes in last. So you'd freeze it without the miso added. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that all through. And it's nice to have oil at the bottom to give your soup a richness. If you wanted it really cleansing, then you, you just omit the oil. So I'm going to add some boiling water now to more than cover, so you've got a really nice broth cooking. Okay. I'm going to bring that to the boil. And that's going to cook, and it takes a few minutes, it doesn't take long. I'm going to add, add this lovely tofu. And tofu is really one of the first plant proteins you're going to start your baby off with weaning because it's so easy to eat. Beans are going to be too taxing for, a, for an immature digestive system. We all know ourselves um, that beans need to be really, really soft and cooked really well in order for them to be digestible. And while that's cooking, I'm going to add these lovely brown rice noodles to give some real substance to the dish. Um, offers some of that complex carbohydrate quality from the brown rice. And um, the children will like fishing them out and sucking them up. Noodles and pastas, it's really nice to source different types, not just the wheat ones, the brown rice ones, and, and there's lots on the market. Um, and that's going to be your first carbohydrate, really, apart from the rice cream, which I talk about in the book, um, for, the, for the baby to go for. So the rice cream is the alternative to, to that cow's milk when you're weaning. Um, and it's made from rice cooked in here with lots of water, then pushed through a sieve. So you get this really, really nourishing liquid which becomes thicker and thicker as the baby gets older. And it's full of lots, full of, lots of um, nutrition because it's all the nutrition from that whole grain, that whole brown, brown rice grain. And you can vary it, vary it by using other grains or grains in combination to get um, more variety into your little one. We're going to add the, that lovely seaweed I mentioned. This is the wakame, which is traditionally found in miso soups. Um, and then I've got another variety I'd really like to show you, which is a bit pinker. This is called dulse. It's particularly iron rich um, and it's very gentle, so they're very detoxifying. They can bind any toxicity or heavy metals and expel it from the system. So they're very cleansing. I've noticed now that the pan's come to a boil, so I'm going to reduce the heat and simmer that. I'm going to rinse these sea vegetables. and then just trim them into our soup. If you wanted your vegetables softer for your baby, um, then you might let them cook a bit longer, but for a toddler, preschooler, schooler, the, the, or an adult even, this is absolutely fine. You've still got a little bit of bite, so it's really nice and fresh. So the way the miso is added, I'm gonna show you now. For children, I would definitely add the miso straight to their bowl so you can really control the amount, there, the, the amount you're giving them because it is salty. So for an adult, I would allow a teaspoon of miso, miso per serving and for um, a little toddler, a preschooler, I'd probably allow about a third of a teaspoon and you just dissolve, just mix it in. If I wanted the rest of the soup for the adults, 
I could, you could put it straight into the, the whole pan, the miso. Or um, if I wanted to reserve this, this soup and have it tomorrow, I would just add miso to the bit I'm having today. The reason being is um, because it's, it contains these live enzymes or lactobacilli, too strong a heat denatures them, yeah? Um, so it's really nice, just add some of the miso to, to the portion you're having at that moment. So this is ready for one little person, a lovely mini miso soup. アンナフリードマンさんの料理の実演が皆様の子育ての旅のいくらかのヒントとなり子どもたちが健康的なマクロ美食を早く始められますよう祈ります。